<laughs> what up, TK YouTube here? God, it's been a while. <laughs> what up, YouTube? TK here, and today we have a video. We have a video. We have a shiny package is what we have. What's in the shiny package? Well, it's the perfect thing, I hope for people that write 10,000 words a week or more, like myself. Yes, it's the new fee, Air 96. Delicious, we're about to find out. So I am not an anime head, I mean, Jesus, right? Uh, nor am I a mechanical keyboard nut. This was the first good looking mechanical keyboard that came up on Google when I looked at it. I looked at a few of the little key touch videos and love the sound of the keys on this thing. That's why I bought it. Now this is the Air 96. It's a 96 percent, which basically means it has a numpad. I don't know if I need a numpad, but I'd rather have one and not need it than need it and not have it, right? <laughs> Let's open this up. We have the box fort knife and see what's what. Now this is a wireless keyboard. It's ultra slim. Keys with more travel than a laptop keyboard, but less than a regular mechanical keyboard. I like that. I like the idea that my fingies don't have to go as far. One of my favorite keyboards to type on is a MacBook Pro from like 2016. You know, I don't want to be going this far with, oh, oh, every keystroke. I want to tap, tap, tap. Like I got to move fast, right? None of that. Yeah, I got my Cherry MX Reds and my fingers do 400 miles. Great. Wear your fingers out. Get RSI. I will not be joining you. Oh, isn't it pretty? Oh, I realized I was looking at the back. Okay, now I feel like a pervert. Okay, that's the front. That's what the keyboard actually looks like. And we need to get... Okay, there's the... There's the thumbnail. There we go. Oh, I just put that in the oily part of the table. Why do I have an oily part of the table? Do not ask. Okay. Oh... It's a unboxing experience, not quite on par with the Apple Watch, but better than the Samsung Galaxy Wear. Uh, okay, we got our quick start guide. So it has wired and wireless modes. I'm probably gonna use it in wireless mode. Interestingly, this has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery in it to allow it to stay powered for days at a time while it's using all its fancy LEDs and so on and so forth. Um, oh, we get some stickers of the, the sexy lady. Well, I'm sure we'll do something with those. That's maybe I'll put them on my guitar. New Fire Studio is a small company founded by a group of boring guys. Okay, yeah, I can I get that by the the stickers. I mean, come on, lads. Uh, when we can't make interesting products, the studio will no longer exist. Okay, yeah. Look, I'm interested in the keyboard. Um, let's. It feels great already. Like it is a stunning palette. It looks like. It's that Neo 80s, like it's colors. Oh. Look at this, this is the, see I told you it's, it's light travel. Oh, that's cool. Now I got this with the, if I remember correctly, I got this with the middle range feather tickler keys. Not the lightest ones, not the heavy ones. And I got the linear keys which don't have like a particular, like a click point, like a tactile click point. I got linear keys because I wanted something smoother, but that, oh, doesn't it just sound like, hello, I'm typing you a love letter. I think you're very special to me. You're like no keyboard I've ever known. If I'm writing fan fiction for freaking keyboard Chan here, this is the keyboard to do it. Oh my God. That's great. It's great. Key Is it a good keyboard to face plant? Probably not. I paid too much money for it. But, um, should be alright for gaming. I didn't really buy it for gaming, but I am a gamer. Or like, I, like, you know, W, A, S, and D, shift is there, control is there. You can use this for gaming. It's not really an ideal gaming layout. I bought this more for typing. Being a professional writer, I literally write 10 to 20, occasionally 30,000 words a week, I think. Uh, so, you know, having, having something that's lightweight and fast is good so oh my god like I literally just got this thing out of the box and that is I'm ready for this now one thing that is gonna hurt me is you know I work on cars a lot of the time the white keys could get stained pretty easily but overall that's just that's a beautiful piece oh brilliant yeah I think we're gonna be very happy together 
Now, if we look inside the box, we also get a USB-C to USB-A cable. That's basically just for charging the device. You can also use that to use it in wired mode. And we get a series of other keycaps if we want to change out a few of them, like ESC and so on and so forth, change the color scheme. Now, Nufi or Nufi, they do respect and are a big part of the mechanical keyboard community. That's why they actually send you a series of other switches. Now, this keyboard is hot swappable, so you can hot swap the switches yourself. So let's say you bought this, you're not happy with the switches it came with. You can plug a few of these in try them out and see which one you actually like the best. And then you can order a set of these for like a nominal fee. Like it's, it's a bit of money. It's like 50, 60 bucks or something. And you can swap out the keys to suit you. That's really cool. You don't want to have to be going on eBay, buying one key, try it two weeks later, buy another one, try that. They just throw them in there. It costs them like 10 bucks. But it means that instead of throwing this out and buying another keyboard when you don't like it, it means you're probably instead going to go back to them and order the keycaps you want. And you're going to keep rocking the new fire and put more money in their pocket. And you're going to be happier too. So that, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm not that obsessive. But that is cool. If you want to know how unobsessive I am, I'll show you the keyboard I've been using. <coughs> this, I have no idea what this is. Oh, I think this is for swapping out keycaps. What I like is they give you what you need. Um, you know, it's, it's not a cheap keyboard. It's not expensive either, but it's not cheap. They give you what you need out of the box so that your introduction to the world of mechanical keyboards is a good one. I also ordered it with the Nufi Studio Wrist Rest in Beach. I think this is Beach. Uh, yeah, Beach. Uh, you know, the jury's out on whether these are good or bad. It really comes down to personal taste like everything with mechanical keyboards. That doesn't stop people arguing about it, of course. But I kind of just chose this because I think it'll look good on my desktop. There we go. Uh, not sure what the rubber pad is for. Ooh. Makes me want a beach guitar now. Very nice. Does that not even attach? That j What? That- Oh, okay. They just live together? Okay, I don't know if I really feel like I got my money's worth on that. That seems kind of stupid. Because, I mean, look. Yeah, there's rubber caps, but that is gonna- I feel like those are going to swim all over my desk. That kind of annoying. Yeah, okay. Well, there's there's my first negative wrist rest that doesn't attach. I could maybe that's what this rubber pad is. For. Yeah, I'm I'm calling that no bueno. It's quite a hard little pad. Um, yeah, I mean, look, it's cool, but it really should attach to each other, I think. And as far as I can see, there isn't a way to do that. In any case, let's get this thing powered up, hooked up, and have a little type off, eh? For comparison's sake, here's my daily driver. I've probably put a good few hundred thousand words on this since I bought it earlier this year. And part of the reason I use such a crappy keyboard is because mine was stolen. Uh, more on that in a minute. But yeah, so this is your Logitech. It's like $70 for this and the mouse. You know, it looks like it's straight out of 2003 and it types like it is as well. I can still type pretty well on this, I can do a lot of things, but realistically, it's not really an ergonomic design, it's just a little bit curved. Um, it's horrible, it's, it's a plastic fantastic mess. So that is why I went to the effort to work hard enough to buy myself this, and that is just exquisite. Got our USB-C port on the back, uh, we'll probably just hook up that to a power supply now for charging. And then we've got our switches, which select between wired and wireless operation and Windows or Mac. We'll be using this on Windows today. I've got a nice high power feed from my monitor, which should be power only in this configuration. Sorry, Lego track worker, you can sit down there. Oh, doesn't that sound good on the leg, on the, on the wood? Yes, hello. I am very upset with your angry letters. Oh, I love it. I love everything about it. Yeah, I got my little my little Lego railway track worker here. I've got my epoxy tray, which should have my glasses in it. God knows where they've gone. This is just a beautiful picture, isn't it? Um, I'm, I'm loving everything about this. So reading the incredibly cool instructions booklet, uh, you can actually use this with Bluetooth. However, I'm going to use it with the USB receiver, it's just easy that way. But that is a really cool feature. If you want to use this with an iPad as like a travel productivity device, or if you want to use it with a laptop or like a Surface with, you know, no USB port available, that's really cool that they have Bluetooth available. 
I'd also like to say, if you are a fan of the anime, and I'm kind of coming around on it, uh, that you, it kind of acts as a poster, um, all the way down to the shoes, if that's relevant to your interest. So obviously we're going to have to put that up. Uh, let's go ahead and get this thing tested. Incidentally, the backlighting is pretty fun. It's pretty subtle. Um, it's sunny in here. You can't really see it that well, but that is... That's a bit of fun. That's not something I'm heaps worried about. Um, it's not why I bought it. But, you know, uh, it's a little bit of extra jewelry. If you want, like, one that's really going to blow your socks off with light, I'd probably get something else. All right, let's try a type racer. Ah! Okay, so that's wild. First time out, I made a massive stumble at the beginning there because I couldn't find the right starting point. Once I get into it, you saw even backspace was exactly where I needed it to be. I got 107 words per minute. For that, so fast, I, uh, I'm told that I'm possibly a cheater. So that's brilliant. It's, it's a bit of an adjustment, but I'm finding it really satisfying to type on. So it's going to take me a little while to get used to this and get back up to my full speed of like 115 words a minute, but I'm already pretty close right out of the box. This is a really nice keyboard if you want to get stuck into mechanicals, you want something with a really nice type feel, that's just a good workhorse keyboard. It's not the best if you want something super ergonomic, um, I've had those before, I'll talk about that in a second, but it is really good. Again, also, if you want something that's like super gamer with all the RGB, you know, this, this layout with these keycaps, it just doesn't show off the color that well. Again, that's not why I bought this keyboard. If you want to be blinded by your keyboard, get something else. For what it is, though, it's a reasonable price. Lovely pastel colors with the white and gray. It, it you know, it, it looks like jewelry on my desk. That's why I bought it, and I cannot wait to start being productive with it. So my favorite keyboard of all time remains this. This is the Microsoft Sculpt ergonomic keyboard. The reason I love this is it's such a natural position to sit in. For my hands um i can probably type better on this than anything in the world i wanted to try mechanical that's why i spent more on getting the new fi now you might ask if i've got my favorite keyboard right here why did i buy the new fi one reason someone stole my desktop computer and with it they took the dongle that this talks to it's a little usb dongle that this talks to along with the mouse and ah the number pad which i just dropped on the ground you can't pair this to another dongle. So I have a $150 keyboard here with the numpad that I can't use. It is, oh God, I'd forgotten how good this was. And I just couldn't bring myself to buy another one of the same keyboard. Um, so I would actually like to donate this to someone who thinks they can maybe hack a solution and talk to it. Just, I mean, obviously I won't have one anymore, but then the community can, you know, take these otherwise great keyboards for the people that have lost the dongles and put them back in use. So if anyone wants this to see if they can hack a solution to talking to it, uh, talk to me in the comments. In the meantime, I'm gonna start producing the good content with Becca here. <laughs> Never mind, Becca. And um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this review. And if you wanna buy one of your very own, uh, check the video description for a referral link. Thank you very much, and happy keyboarding, friends. TK out. Double winner in a bad luck jackpot, a stacked up mascot, living with a badge of a backlog, trying to find some way through. Attack dog, he doesn't want a bad review, because he's lonely, yeah, he's the only one he's ever seen. I'm not a dream gets him out of bed, cook and clean. Saving Penny's gonna make it to a better scene. Only thing he's gotta do is make a nightclub hell scream. Filthy, dirty, sweaty, insane. 50, 30, 20, an empty wallet stuck on that train. You're cut Can you the imagine if I put that right at the start? Turn this fucking party out.